Hey, Canaway Nation, Billy Funk here, talking today about prospecting. This video is Prospecting 101, and after it, you should have a better understanding about how to approach people, how to invite people to take a look at your business, and how to go out there and take advantage of all the tools and all the products and the opportunity that you have inside of Canaway. So, what exactly is prospecting? Well, I think a lot of you know what that word means, but do you really know what you're supposed to do? Because it's not really going out there and just sending people links and saying, you know, hey, you got to take a look at this. You got to check out this, this link that I saw. You know, if you really think about it, when somebody sends you a link and says, hey, you got to check this out, what do you think of? What do you think it's going to be? Well, I know when somebody sends me a link and says, you got to check this out, my first thought process is, oh, wow, a funny video, a funny YouTube video. No matter what the link says, that's my first inclination because that's what people do. They share videos on Facebook, on YouTube, via text message, via email, and they just send each other links saying, hey, check this out. So if you're doing that, you're not really acting professional. You know, you're acting like, you know, hey, this is funny. Check it out. And guess what? Canoe is not really funny. It's serious. You know, we are a home-based business opportunity with incredible products and incredible people and incredible tools to help you build your business. So you want to act serious. So what is the prospecting process look like? Well, in order for you to prospect somebody, you kind of have to have a relationship with them. Now, here's the neat thing. And this is the good thing, too, for anybody out there that says, you know what, I've already exposed everybody inside of my warm market, you know, to this opportunity. And you want to go outside your warm market into the coal market. Either way, you have to have a relationship with somebody. And I can teach you how to build a relationship with somebody in very, very simple time. Well, very, very short time, not simple. The first step is for you to build rapport and build credibility with your prospect. So if you have a relationship with them already, well, you probably already got some rapport and you already have some credibility. That's a good start. Your next step is to find information and then find a problem that they're having. You're really becoming a professional problem solver inside of the entire prospecting process. So what happens if you don't have a relationship? If you, you know, maybe met somebody at a networking event or met somebody at Starbucks or met somebody, you know, maybe at the school that your kids go to, what do you do? Well, you find out what their name is. Remember, the sweetest sound in any language to any person is their own name. Find out what their name is. And if you don't have any conversational topics to talk about, talk about the weather. It's always a good topic to start a conversation because people always have an opinion about the weather. The next step is for you to find some more information about that person. You know, ask them questions. Look at your landscape, the environment that's around you. Are you at a school where you're, you're, both your kids go to school? I'm sure you can have some common topics to talk about there. Are you in Starbucks? You know, maybe you and him or you and her have got the same favorite drink. Are you at a networking event? You know, where you can simply ask somebody, what is it that you do for a living? Either way, you want to find more information about people. And there's a simple process for doing that. It's called form. So pretend like you're using a form and you're know, handing them an application, except you're not going to actually hand them a piece of paper. You're going to ask them questions in a form process. F stands for family. O stands for occupation. R stands for recreation. And M stands for mission or message or motivation. So F-O-R-M. If you ask people questions about their family, about their occupation, about their recreation, and about their mission, you're going to find a lot more about them. So you built some rapport. You built some credibility. And what you're doing is you're listening to the answers that they say. You're not just hearing what they say. You're listening beyond those lyrics to the music in the background. What are they really saying? What do they really want to do? How much fun are they having in their life? You know, where do their kids go to school? You know, what, what is their favorite weather? The next step for you to do after you've built that rapport and credibility and you found some information about them, you want to find a problem that they're having. And this is super simple. If you are at a networking event and you find out where somebody goes, to, you know, where they went to school or what they're doing for a living right now, you can ask them, oh, how long have you been doing that for? And they, they're going to either say, you know, a month, uh, you know, a week, six months, a year, 10 years, who knows? You know, it's going to be everywhere in between. No matter what they say, right after that, you can say, oh, you must really love that. And by asking them that, they're simply going to probably give you the honest reply of whether or not they like their job. And you can simply ask them after that, well, where do you see yourself in, in five years? Where do you see yourself going in the next two years, in the next five years? Find out what they really want to do. 
ask him, you know, is this, is this what, is this what, you know, is this the path that you were looking to go down? Is this something that you want to do for the rest of your life? Ask them if they're open to making additional income. Now, here's the cool thing. If you ask them probing questions like that, if you do find out information and that information do, does lead you to the problem that they're having, which is most likely they don't have enough income, most likely they don't have enough money for them to travel, most likely they don't have a solution to their mortgage, they don't have a way for them to retire early, it doesn't matter what their problem is, most likely it's going to be that they don't have the job that they want, or they don't have the money coming in on a monthly basis, or they don't have the time freedom. They don't have you know, the ability to travel and do what they really want to do when they want to do it, which all leads back to money. Now, money's not everything like Zig Ziglar says, but it ranks right up there with oxygen. In order for them to accomplish any of those goals, you know, retiring early, getting their kids to the best college, traveling around the world, uh, you know, going out there and starting their own business, creating the life that they always wanted to live, spending more time at home, that all requires income. And, it, you know, and if you really want to become financially free, well, you're inside of network marketing, you get residual income. You get the ability to make money while you sleep. And so that's a, an incredible solution for you. So that, here's, that's the entire prospecting, all right, is build rapport and credibility, which simply means develop a relationship. Find information about them, what they're doing right now, what they're really excited about, you know, what's, you know, how big is their family? Where did they go to school? What kind of car do they drive? How much do they really like, you know, the job that they have? Those are all probing questions that will lead you to most likely a problem that they're having in their life. And you're going to find that in the follow-up, your entire goal is to provide the solution and give them enough information so that they can make an educated decision and so that you can collect the decision. So prospecting is simply finding a way to invite people to take a look at Canaway. In order for you to do that, you have to have a relationship with them. So anybody that you know that's a family member, a friend, an acquaintance, a neighbor, a colleague, a coworker, a college buddy, those are all people in your warm market and you don't have to build rapport and credibility with them because you've already done that. You need to find information about what they're doing right now and find a problem that they're having. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how to expose them to Canaway. So this was Prospecting 101. Four simple steps. Build, build, find, find. Build rapport, build credibility, find information, and find a problem that they're having. And I'll show you how to get them to the solution, which is joining your business.